RM sets are a powerful tool that can be used for several different things, although one of the most common and useful is to use them for uh, results presentation. So here's a simple uh, three-span hollow box bridge that was constructed using a balanced cantilever method. To access the RM sets, go to Properties, RM Sets in the menu tree. As you see with uh, a lot of windows in RM, you have an upper window where something is defined and a lower window where information about it is put in. So in this upper window, we're going to define an RM set. One of the things to note about RM sets is that you often have a lot of them in each project. So it's good to name your RM set something descriptive of the kind of results that they're going to show. So in this first RM set, we want to look at the moments due to self-weight. So I'm just going to call this SW-MZ. So now it's been created in the upper window. And in the lower window, no information has been filled out yet. To access the RM set definition window, click the I button. This will bring up the RM set definition. There's a lot going on in here, and in this first uh, example, I'm just going to show the bare necessities that are needed for creating an RM set. So, in these tabs along the top, the most important ones are, first of all, elements and nodes. And this is where you choose which elements or nodes uh, you're going to present results for. So first, uh, we have the option to choose either elements of a group or if you've um, put some of the elements in a group in the modeler or an element series such as typing in uh, elements 101 to 135 with a step of one, <coughs> or we can choose nodes. Uh, for this example, uh, I've actually grouped all of the main girder elements of my bridge uh, into a group called MG. So. I can just choose elements of a group and then the element group main girder and make sure that I insert after so that the group MG shows up in this window above. Next, now that you've chosen which elements you want to see results for, you have to choose the results and these are either load case results or envelope results. So I'm going to first choose load case results because we want to look at the self weight. So next we come down and choose the load case name and there's two drop down uh, arrows here. The first one will have all of the uh, load cases that we created uh, and there's a lot of them for this bridge. The second drop down uh, has all of those load cases but it also has as you'll see here internal, internally generated load case and this means any load case that was created with uh, say the um, load manager. So in my example, this load case, self-weight plus west concrete sum, actually really shows the uh, self-weight of the bridge. So now that we've cho chosen the load case, it, you just choose the uh, results. So you'll see all of the uh, displacements and forces, as well as um, some stresses that can be displayed. But here we want to look at moment MZ. Now again, we must insert after so that you see up here now we're looking at this load case self weight plus wet concrete sum and the MZ moments. To view this RM set you have three options down here in the bottom um, and the first one I usually do is plot it uh, just to check and see that it looks right and I have the information I wanted in it. When I click plot to file uh, it immediately opens up an RM plot file uh, with these results in it. So here we can see the elements of my main girder were elements 101 to 135, which is what you can see along the horizontal axis here, um, and now the uh, uh, moment diagram. In addition to plotting, we can also report file. And when we click report file, it opens up a um, .lst file or a list file, uh, which is basically just a text file that has all of that same information. It shows in the first column which element uh, X on O are either 0 or 1 so at each one of these elements it's looking at the beginning and the end and the results. Lastly we can also write this to an Excel file. So when we write to XLS it will pop up and say that it has been created. And now if we save this and go to the project directory uh, in the default schedule this report 
for self weight mz that we created now shows up. And this is similar to the list file in that it shows which element, uh, the beginning or end of the element, and then the result. But it also shows at the top a minimum and a maximum value.